hello guys welcome to civil engineering youtube channel here in this video we will talk about how to calculate the area of irregular land okay many students were asking me about uh, sir i uh, can calculate the area of rectangular land okay we can calculate the area of triangular land so but uh, how will we calculate the area of an irregular land okay the area of land which have different length and width no one sides are equal okay so you can see here in this land 4 meter 3 meter 13 meter 12 meter all of the sides are different okay so how will we calculate the area of this types of land okay in this video we will discuss in detail okay so let's start the video here first of all here we have a land okay so first of all what we have to do we have to draw a diagonal line okay like this this is our land plot okay and we have to draw a diagonal line either you can draw this way or either you can draw in this way okay but we have to draw a diagonal line okay so uh, after uh, drawing the diagonal line we have to measure this point okay we have to measure this diagonal line let us uh, say the length become 5 okay it may be different but here i am taking example for example our diagonal uh, length becomes 5 okay now what will we do we have we will use the formula for a scale and triangle guys this is very precise and very accurate method to calculate the area of an irregular land okay so i have used this uh, method to calculate the area of irregular land because I myself use on site of civil engineering. Okay, so area of scale and triangle uh, is how much? A equals to s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c whole root under. Okay, so but here s is what? S is the semi perimeter. Okay, for example, a is a length, b is length, and c is length. For example, we are taking this triangle okay if we are taking this triangle then this side will be a b and c and semi perimeter will be the uh, half of sum of all side okay if we add all the side and if we divide all uh, of them by two then we will get what the semi perimeter which is called s okay so we knew that uh, the area of triangle scale and triangle is this and s is a plus b plus c divided by 2 now let us move toward the calculation okay so here first of all in triangle a b d we will calculate the area of this triangle and area of this triangle and after that we will add both the triangle to calculate the total area of the land okay with the help of area of the scale and triangle let us take an example first of all in triangle a b d which are a b d a b and d it means we are taking this triangle okay we are taking this triangle so in this triangle you can assume any of them as a, a b or c okay for example a 5 meter is a this is a b is what 3 meter and c how much 4 meter okay so total length we have here not noted now s equals to what sum of all side a plus b plus c divided by 2 which is 5 plus 3 plus 4 divided by 2 is equals to how much 6 meter now we will use the formula okay so our uh, formula for scale and triangle is what a equals to s into s minus a s minus b and s minus c whole root under okay so uh, by uh, putting all the value for the s a b and c by putting all and calculating we will get how much a equals to root under 36 and total a equals to what 6 meter square okay let us t uh, tell us uh, this is a1 okay area of this triangle now we will calculate the area of what this triangle okay so let let's uh, move forward here now we have to calculate this uh, area of this triangle so in in the same way for a triangle b d c okay b d and c it means we are talking about this triangle okay so uh, here uh, a is 13 meter any of you can uh, assume you can also assume a as a 5 meter and bc equals to 12 meter and bd equals to what 
five meter. Okay. So again, uh, we will calculate the value of a in the same way. A plus b plus c divided by two, and which will give us thirteen plus twelve plus five divided by two equals to fifteen meter. Okay. So we have calculated a, and we have got all the uh, length of the triangle. Okay. So total area will be how much? S into S minus A, S minus B, and S minus C. So by putting all the value of S and total length, we will get how much A equals to root under 900. Okay. So root under 900 is equals to how much? 30 meter square. And this is the area of this triangle, guys. Okay. So at first we calculated this area, and secondly we calculated. This area. Now we have to add both area to get the total area of the land. Okay. So let us add both the area. By adding here, hence the total area of the land become what? Area of triangle ABD. A here A B and D, and the area of triangle BDC. Okay. B D and C. So adding both triangle. What we have calculated? We had calculated the area of this triangle as a six meter square. And area of this triangle, this triangle as a what? 30 meter square. So adding both the area, we will get almost 36 meter square as a total area of this irregular land. So guys, in this way we can calculate the area of irregular land, whatever be the size. Okay. Again, I am revising in short. First of all, we have to draw a diagonal line. Okay. We can join any of two corner. To make a diagonal, okay, either either this side uh, or either this side. Uh, if we draw diagonal, then the land uh, will be divided into two part, two triangle. And again, uh, we have to uh, calculate the area of triangle separately, okay, uh, by using this formula. At last, we have to add both the area of triangle to get the total area of the irregular land, okay. So, guys, this much for today. Please like this video and subscribe my channel for new update about civil engineering. Thank you. Oh,